In this video we're going to show you how to recycle old bottle caps to make bottle cap embellishments to use in your quads, as created in this design made by Debbie Simpson for Papercraft Inspirations issue 150. To start with, you need to flatten out your bottle cap. If you're doing this by hand, the easiest way is to use a small craft hammer for the first stage to start to push the outside edges of the bottle cap so that they fan outwards rather than sitting square. I'm doing this by working around the bottle cap, holding the cap with some tweezers to keep it stable, and then gently tapping with the craft hammer to start to move those edges outwards. You'll see that the centre plastic bit of the bottle cap will get slightly damaged by this method, but don't worry, we're going to cover this up later when we add our choose and embellishment. Once you've started to do this fan, turn the cap the right way up and taking a larger hammer, start to tap and flatten the bottle cap down. You need the edges to be flayed outwards before you use the larger hammer or they will start to turn under and you won't get the nice star effect that you want. It's really important that you work on a, a craft mat here or you're going to damage your table. With the hammer method, you'll never get a completely perfect bottle cap flattened. So Debbie has used her die cut machine to flatten hers, but if you're cautious, we still recommend the hammer method. Now we're going to make the patterned paper circle to sit on top of your flattened bottle cap. You want to use a one inch circle punch to punch a motif from pretty floral patterned paper. Here we're using Dovecraft Layton paper for this. Turn the punch upside down to help you position the flower perfectly within the punch and then push through to make the topper section that you need. If you haven't got a one inch circle punch, you can always draw around a 2p piece to get this kind of size. Or if you've got a set of circle nesting dies, you can die cut it this way instead. We're going to use glossy accents to attach the circle to the flattened bottle cap and also to give it a lovely shiny finish once the circle is in place. Add a generous quantity of glossy accents around the inside edge of the flattened bottle cap and then taking your circle, place it onto the surface and then using a pair of tweezers, push down so that the paper sits flat on the bottle cap and the glossy accent is almost acting like a glue to help hold it in place. If it starts to come up over the edges of the paper, don't worry, we're going to cover the circle with the glossy accents in a minute anyway. Let your glossy accents dry for about 10 minutes and then, once you know the paper is securely stuck to the bottle cap, you want to cover the whole image with another good coating of glossy accents. Be very generous with this, because it's the, the shine on the finished embellishment that will give it that lovely professional look. Squeeze the bottle and cover the surface evenly with the accents, making sure that all areas are covered and it looks smooth and shiny. Make sure you leave it flat to dry overnight to maintain that lovely shiny surface and then it will be ready to use on your designs. To set off our bottle cap embellishment, we framed the finished embellishment with a flower made using the Spellbinder flower topper die anemone cut in coordinating papers like this. For the full method to make your card, Look out for Papercraft Inspirations, issue 150. 